Welcome to Get the Facts, the program that provides you with information on government's policies and initiatives. I'm your host, Enthros Campbell. Now, today we will be talking about staying safe during the holidays. And our resource person is head of the Constabulary Communications Unit in the Jamaica Constabulary Force, Senior Superintendent Stephanie Lindsay. SSP Lindsay, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. We're very happy to have you. And we're talking safety. So first of all, tell us, at this time of the year, we have like more robberies, a lot of illegal things taking place. How can we stay secure and safe as Jamaicans generally? Okay, so this time of year is the festive season. Yes. We're at the end of the year. So lots of things happening. People save up from January until December to do a little shopping and to get some things new and they're out. So we, ha we always see at this time we have traffic. We will see increased incidents of um, personal crime. So robbery, simple larceny. Um, leading up to the holidays, we saw and we have been getting the reports of a dumb persons being robbed mainly by persons on motorcycles mm -hmm. and sometimes in cars. Mm -hmm. So robbery is one of the crime that we are trying to prevent for this season, as well as petty theft. We also see instances of house breaking and right. larceny yes. around this time. Yes. But we can do something to help ourselves. So we're going to the shopping centers. What should we do? All right, so you're going to the shopping center. And of course, we, we, we have a new um, thing that we have to be content with this year because we have COVID-19. Definitely, yes. So going to the shopping center, it is important that you plan what is it that you, a lot of planning goes into it. Yes. So if you decide that you're going to go shopping, have an idea, the stores that you're going to shop from. So probably you need to do some work before. Yes. So you know, you have an idea what the prices are. There are persons who will use debit or credit cards, but there are just some persons who really like to use cash. So those are the persons who are more vulnerable to theft and robbery of, of cash. So you plan where you're going. Traffic is always a challenge because a lot of persons are out. So if you can carpool, so as you go now, you plan where you're going to go, you know the stores you're going to shop, have an idea how much you're going to spend. So if you have a large amount of money that you're carrying, then you apportion the, the cash so that when you go to this store, you know, you know, this is the money that I'm taking out. So you're not taking out large sums of cash in a in a public space because people are out similar to how we are planning and shopping and persons are planning to come out and create yes. mayhem and, yes. cr and commit crime so yes. we have to plan for right. that as well right so take as little cash as you as you possibly can as little cash and, as possible and, and portion it out in okay. small amounts Once. yes yes all right talk to us about safety at home lots of strange things happen at the house people are driving in and they they are held up how can we prevent that? So safety at home is very, very important because sometimes, because you're at home, you are supposed to be supposed to be the safest place, but sometimes the criminals take advantage of that. So persons sometimes are not aware. They don't make themselves very aware of what is happening. This is the time of year where you will hear the sad stories that people will, there are people with genuine cases that they need help. But mm -hmm. then we also have people hiding behind that now and will come to your homes, knock on your gates, and try to solicit. It might not be what is, the, they, they may just be a decoy. So if you're in your home and somebody comes to your gate and you didn't invite somebody, anyone there, and you don't know these individuals, I'd want to advise that you don't open your doors to people that you're not expecting. Because yes, yes. sometimes you might see a woman and a child but by the time you start paying attention to the woman and the, chi and, and the child, then come men with guns. So they yes. just use those as um, distractions. So yes. it's important that even at home, you lock up. It's unfortunate that we have to live behind bars, but mm -hmm. to be safe. So you lock up if you're at the front, back, make sure the front is locked and vice versa. Mm -hmm. yes. Make sure that if you're traveling home, you're on the road and you're coming home, if possible, alert someone when you're nearby so they can actually look out for you and be aware of your surroundings so you need to have an idea your neighbor's cars people where cars would normally park so if you drive to your gate and you see a vehicle parked in a manner that it's not something that is usual then it is something for you to be alert about and don't be alert in the sense that you're hurrying to get home but maybe you need to drive around the block 
you need probably to drive around and to call somebody at home and say, see if you can get a look at the car that's at the gate, the registration number, and call police 119 to tell them that we see this car parked in a manner that we consider to be suspicious. Yes. And then you make sure it's better to overreact yes. than to say, boy, you know, I got the feeling my sixth sense told me it was a gut feeling, so follow them. Yes. There are other things too that you need to do with your key, for example. Um, we shouldn't leave our key under the mat. What? No. So that, yes. Do not hide your keys anywhere. Make sure if somebody, if you have a number of persons, but everybody, everyone has a, has a key. So you don't hide the key under a flower pot or under the mat for somebody to come and, and find mm. it. Because remember, we're in technology age, you know. You don't know who's watching us. There may be unseen yeah. eyes watching. Yes, yes. Could be a camera next door or somewhere that is pointing in your space, yes. seeing you, what yes. you do, and the, the moment you leave, now they come and they take everything out of your house. Right. Also, as you have your keys, there are some persons who have these large bunch of keys. See if you can sort your keys, that when it's time for you to open your house and get in, there is no waiting time trying to figure out which key you should put, pull which lock. So you. If you have different places that you keep keys for, you'll you find a way to organize the keys in a manner that you can f get in get in the home very quickly. Yes, yes. Okay. All right, we're going to take a break now and come back with some more useful information on how you can stay safe during the holidays. Stay with us. Now tell me, said the boy beat you again. Me tell if you go report it, you know. Who you afraid of? Everybody go and do my business and be no one that. <laughs> you see, the new police station, them have some room where you can talk to the officer in a private. Project Rebuild, Overhaul and Construct P-Rock is coming to your community. P-Rock will provide new or renovated police stations with up-to-date technology, increased and improved mobility, and a safe and efficient environment for both police and citizens. Welcome back to Get the Facts. We're talking with head of the Constabulary Communications Unit in the Jamaica Constabulary Force, Senior Superintendent Stephanie Lindsay. So we talked about COVID earlier in the program. Tell us, how do you plan to enforce the measures that, um, that, that have to do with the disaster risk management? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so we have been supporting the Ministry of Health and the different agencies with COVID-19 since the first case was um, discovered in March of this year. So far, we have been doing the best we can. We don't always get compliance, but for the most part, we're able to enforce. Yes. Leading up to the festive season now, there's no doubt that we're, we're anticipating some challenges. Yes. Challenges in the sense that I think traditionally, Jamaican people are accustomed to being out late from at Christmas time. So they're accustomed to the grand market, which would start this morning and end tomorrow morning. This year, it starts this morning, five o'clock, uh, yes. and it ends at nine o'clock, 9.30 there about, because it, it closes off at 10. So we have a shortened version of, version of grand market up to yesterday, I saw where some persons were demonstrating against the time. They want longer hours. They want more time. Yeah, yes. So I think persons are going to try to give us a hard time to leave the street. So we are preparing to deal yeah, with that. Yeah. But really what we don't want, we don't want any confrontation and an unnecessary conflict between yeah. law enforcement and the citizens yes. because we are really doing this to keep everyone safe from COVID-19. Yeah. So I'd encourage persons to start your day early. So in the past, you'd dress up the house and put up the new curtains and sort out everything and then you go to Grand Market. Mm -hmm. We want to try it in the reverse this year. So you go to Grand Market early and get back to do the chores that you can do whilst you're at home. So persons just have to start planning. We know that Grand Market will be a shortened day compared yes. to what we're accustomed to. So we expect persons to start doing things before the day to come. Another tradition that we know people are accustomed is to have these street parties. 
in the major town centers, there are some town centers that are known for the biggest and the grandest grand, yeah. um, grand, grand market parties. parties. Right. Those are not going to happen not on this, this year. year. They're not mm -hmm. on this year. So unfortunately, we just have to try to, to make the adjustments yes, and yes. let us end you know, the, 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 the year on a note right. that we don't have any increase infection so we can yes, you know yes. see some activities returning right. in 2021 right. so start grand market early and then go home and tidy the house okay yes. good point now um police are already on the streets we are seeing them commissioner said so and yes we are seeing them yeah. what else can we expect i mean i know the grand market now but what else can <laughs> all we all right expect? so what you what you what you should expect you should expect to see increased police presence right across the country of course, we, some of what we will be doing will create some kind of inconvenience at times because we will we'll be doing a lot of road policing. We'll be doing the stop and searches, you name it. And the process may be delayed, so you still have to give yourself some lead time. We will try our best not to make it too onerous, but we have to do it. Uh, we are really looking for the guns that are moving around. So we know they are moving around with people. So we have to be searching people who are using vehicles. So we will have a lot of people search mm -hmm. and a lot of vehicle searches. A big, um, one of the big things we are targeting, the robbery, we, we, we have a, a robbery reduction strategy because um, we have an, a, an operation that was launched about two weeks ago, mm -hmm. which is um, the surge. Yes. It's a surge and it's just a surge in our activities. We have um, normally, we would downsize our non-operational functions around the first week in December. We started from November. Yes, yes. So you'll start seeing the additional persons on the streets because we have to ensure that we are occupying the public spaces, those commercial districts where there are large um, transactions going on with cash, vending, etc. So we're out very early this year to prevent yes, some of the things yes. that we usually see, yes. anticipating that persons would be coming out earlier so as not to coincide with grand market and all of that yes. due to COVID. Yes. So we know that we will we are having some special emphasis around motorcycles. Those are the ones we are getting the report. They are trailing people from the financial centers. They are trailing people to their homes. So a lot of things involved in um, motorcyclists, mm -hmm. not suggesting that everyone on a motorcycle has criminal intentions. Yes. However, we don't know who are the ones. So there might be some persons who are quite innocent yes. who will be subjected to some scrutiny, but it's not deliberate and it's not intended to make them feel like criminals mm -hmm. or to make them into criminals, but it is intended to ensure that whoever moving around on motorcycles are persons who were satisfied are not among those who are robbing yes. people. Yes. Going back to stop and search. Why is it the police would stop and search people in the morning when you're going to work? So we have a pile of tra traffic because we are searching people. Because that's when people are moving. So people are moving at peak hours. People are moving at different intervals. Yes. So most of the, and, and since we started the search and we, we started the stop and search, we have seized a number of firearms. Okay. Because people are just driving yes. around hoping yes. that, and, and, and we're not only, we, we will be searching at different times. So we, we're not going to be too predictable. Okay. So some of it will, you will be outside, Definitely. but we do it in the time when people yes. are moving yes. and that's around the peak yes. time. Yes. Road crashes. What are we doing about that? Oh boy. We've seen a lot, an increase in road crashes yes. this year compared to last yes. year. So as usual, we encourage people not to speed. You find that Christmas time now, persons who never used to drive, January to November come yes. Christmas time, they're driving. And some of them are not even licensed to drive. So we want to say to the parents and the guardians and the people who live in household with cars and people who don't have license to secure your car keys. So don't allow the children to steal the car, because in Vera they said they steal the car. Yes. Don't let them take the car without permission and go on the road and drive in a yes, careless yes. manner. Mm -hmm. We know that alcohol and driving is not a good combination. So if you have to drink and you're going out as a group, mm -hmm. have a designated driver that is not going to be drinking. And I was talking to someone recently, they said, you don't drink and drive. The person said, no, no, we drink, then we drive. So we have to start saying to persons, don't drink, then, then drive. drive. Yes, There's yes, just not, yes. that's not yes, just a good combination. Yes, yes. yes. so we, we know we can call 119. Yes. 
What other numbers can we call or should people learn the numbers of the police in their area? Yes. yes. It is always good to have the number for your local police station. It would be nice if you could go and make yourself known to the commander, station commander, so they will share a personal number with you. They're in charge of the station, so they can give directive if you're calling the station number. So it's good to have that, but you always try to get your police station number, and 119 is a useful number to call yes. in case you're having a problem. And this, this year, too, we want to see more people calling because in, um, in another two days, we are going to be rolling out some set of numbers and some WhatsApp and some social media platform for people to report into us, people who they know in their communities who are keeping these events. Yes. Okay. We want them to help us yes. to keep yes. them safe. So if you see a poster going around, if you see events setting up in your community, you need to let us know because that is what will cause a spread. Because yes. they are inviting people who are not a part of the community to come in and interact. Mm -hmm. And that's how COVID, because COVID moves with people. So if everybody can remain in their own space and not move around, then yes. we can control the spread. Yes. As we wrap, just speak to Jamaica. What is your message to Jamaica at this time? So we're approaching the holidays and we need to stay safe. Your message to Jamaica. So my message to Jamaica as we enter into the festive season, that is what we want to make it festive. We are somewhat tired of seeing persons just killing each other. We want to see a reduction in the violence. Now is the time for love. Remember the reason for the season. It's about love, it's about giving, it's about sharing and caring for each other. So we want to have a season where we see less murder, less shooting, less robbery, less violence among each other. And as we go through the season, we want to be mindful that we are contending with a pandemic, COVID-19. There are a number of restrictions out there that are governed by the Disaster Risk Management Act. I urge my fellow citizens to work with your community, work with the police so that we don't have a spread. I understand that people want to go about your normal routine I know you want to have the recreation, you want to have the parties. So let us just conform and see how best we can reduce the spread so come 2021, we can get back on with our lives as per usual. So I look forward to a wonderful Christmas and I wish for you and your entire family a safe and holy season. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you so very much for coming and sharing with us today useful information on how to stay safe this Christmas and into the new year. Thank you. This has been Get the Facts. Our guest was head of the Constabulary Communications Unit in the Jamaica Constabulary Force, Senior Superintendent Stephanie Lindsay. For more information on the Jamaica Constabulary Force, please call them at 876-927-44214 or visit their website at www dot jcf dot gov dot jm and you know you can call them at 119 until next time when get the facts bring you as always useful information i'm in campbell thanks for watching and stay safe